<laughs> that thing is longer than my hand. Hey everybody, Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee. I am on about a little over nine acres. If you're new to my channel, I am going this alone, trying to do the sustainable homestead thing. I'm pushing up on two years. Get, well, in uh, a month and a half, it'll be two years that I've been here. Made a lot of mistakes, had a lot of successes, met a lot of great new friends through this homesteading community. So if you're interested in that, I hope you subscribe, click that bell for notifications so you won't miss an upload. So today it was very windy. I'm picking up where I left off yesterday. Had some trees taken down. Hate to do that, but it was necessary. And today the stump grinder came, so it got very windy and all these gorgeous leaves which are just starting to be red and golden and beautiful are just blowing off the trees and going on the ground so <laughs> it always happens you know just so you, you want to just settle into that beautiful fall and get to see those colors for a while but no we had the wind today take a look
Did you play video games as a child? A little bit. <laughs> These are big boy toys right here. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> three little cedar stumps that had been sticking up as well as the new cedar stump. And I noticed big old rocks in there. And he said, did I want to fill up the hole? But I don't. I want to use all this incredible mulch. Look at this. Wow. And then the other one up here, that's a lot of great mulch. The only question is what to do with it. Where best to use it, you know? Okay. Time for a cup of tea. I was going to let the kitties out after he left, but we seem like we have a storm coming on and I'd almost rather just leave them in today. It's so warm, it's kind of, I hope we get rain so I don't have to water. Let's see what kind of butterflies we have on the aster today. That's a Gulf fritillary, I think. Hang on, nope, yeah. Yeah, it is. are drying up from the bottom. I guess just not enough water. Too dry. Look at all those bees. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus a little moth and a butterfly. These are really beautiful from the underside if you've never seen one. Got black spots on the outside and underneath they're white. Hi beautiful. Well these fall colors are not going to last long in wind. This maple on the left is always the first to turn. Takes a lot of diesel to pull that. Hi, Bart. Hi, DJ. Hi. Hi, Spot. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. I know it's a sleepy day. Hi, Spot. Hi, Patch. Hey. Don't bang on her. No, leave her alone. Hi, Patch. Hi, Bibi. Wow. So pretty. I'd like to come out here and vacuum up every one of those leaves. I'm actually very surprised we're getting this much rain. I thought we were just going to have a little passing shower. I'm very surprised. Uh, and you know what? I planned, so I left outside on the driveway because they needed water. But they may be laying over on their sides with all this wind. I don't know. We should probably go check. Hi, 
Oh good, they're getting wet. Okay. So am I. So I had a surprise visit from a late bloomer fan who has seen every single one of my, I don't know, thousand videos. I've been doing this since 2012, so the first eight years was all in my tiny micro farm in LA, and now I'm doing this big expanse here. So it's a whole different ball game. <laughs> But I've had some great help this year, and I hope to be bringing you more from my homestead here, what, what, what progress I'm making, what needs to be done, and we're still trying to get the gardens put to bed, so there's more of that to do. My friend had to take off early, and so we didn't get to do a lot of the things that I had hoped that she could help me do the things, the kind of things, you know, the kind of things you just, well, I don't have to do that today. I can put that off. And I, I, I have a long list of those. Uh, so I'm just going to have to get it done myself. So thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.